My name is Jess. I met Brooke through Mops. Mops is moms of preschoolers. She was new, uh, came in, got put at our table, and it was so cool because we just became friends right away. We clicked. I went through like a really, really tough divorce two years ago, and I had met her two years prior. I didn't know why at the time, and it all came to fruition for me when that happened. Like, she was one of the only two people I could really confide in and trust and be completely vulnerable with. And so I always knew her role, but I never knew my role in her life. Um, and that was always difficult. And so like when this opportunity came, it was actually last year on Night of Worship that I invited Jess to come on this mission trip to Mexico. My first and automatic response to that was, nope, can't do it. Like, there's no way I can make it happen. My husband's work schedule's crazy. Life is crazy. I have two neurodivergent children. Like, there's no way I can make it happen. It's just not possible. And it was really funny because I just couldn't get it off my mind once she asked me. And sure enough, and it works out. We went to build a house for our family. And at the end of the day, you're just so exhausted. I was a child when I was baptized. I don't remember it. I had some wonderful people say some nice things and throw some water on my forehead. And as an adult, when, when I said I wanted to be baptized, it, it felt different in my soul. Like I really wanted to do it. We were laying in the tent one night. I had written in my journal a little bit and Brooke, she was quiet and just laying there and out of nowhere she goes, I wanna baptize you. <laughs> Our role is to go out and teach and to baptize in Jesus' name. And I had never had the urge to do that before. I don't feel capable in many ways um, or knowledgeable enough or anything. And for some reason, I felt very comfortable and called to do that when it came to Jess. So on the way to get baptized, we're going to Mission Bay, and I just, all of a sudden, I could feel like a darkness creeping in, saying, you don't deserve to be baptized, you don't need to be baptized, you've already been baptized as a child. Like, as soon as we get out of the van, it was, it was like something had just lifted and I knew I was in the right space, in the right moment, with the right people. The biggest thing that I left in that water when I was baptized was fear. There are so many fears in this world, you know, that can weigh heavy on, on a mom's shoulders and especially situations that have to do with my son and autism and all of the neurodivergence that everything that we're learning about Jesus wants to be there with us and walk with us and I've learned that and even through my suffering he was right there with me and I don't have to be afraid because I know Jesus is with me in my family before Jesus I felt fear and anxiety all the time after Jesus Knowing he's by my side, I feel calm and I know everything will be okay. Do you have a story like that?